Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am speaking a little hushed right now because my baby girl is close by taking her nap. This is actually my first opportunity to film. I got this stuff going on a week ago. So I just wanted to hurry up and um, get this put together while she's still sleeping. So as you will see from the title, this is a Ray Dunn haul. This, these items I actually got from Marshalls and a TJ Maxx home goods combo that is nearby me. Um, I like the setup of what I did last time. So right here, I'm going to insert a clip from me actually inside the store on my little hunt. So go ahead and watch that. And then I'll meet you back right here to show you what I ended up picking. about a week or so prior I was looking at it I said oh I want it but I couldn't think of where I would put it in the house so I kind of like put it back and this was during that time um in my last video where I said I went back like literally the next day and everything I had seen was gone this was one of those things so I was happy to see it again when I went this time there was only one so I for sure picked it up and I actually just had it in my cart as I went around to make sure I wanted it but I knew I did um I kind of have an idea of where I'm gonna put it but it is the Ray Dunn letter holder. This is the one with the dark wood bottom and the, um, obviously the black metal. It says letters right here, as you can see. And I just thought this was so cute. I love how it looks. I love the combination of the wood with the metal. And then also, um, my husband always leaves the mail everywhere, so... I thought this would be a good thing so it's just like a set up set in place situation like the mail goes here and then that way we can keep it from being a big mess so I was really happy with this like I said I didn't get it the first time because I wasn't exactly sure where I would put it in the house but I have a pretty good idea now so I am glad it was there last time there was one it was a bit of a different color scheme I think the wood was a different color or maybe the it was the metal it was more of a gray finish 
something like that but like i said this was the only one when i went back and i was glad to have it because i really like this so that was all that i got from the tj maxx home goods combo and it's so funny because we left that store um my husband had took me up there real quick it was late in the in the day i say it was around like seven o'clock maybe closer to eight so it was later and um you know anyhow to set the stage for the next door we were on the way home and it's another one that's like a little bit out of the way but not really and so i was saying to my husband like oh you should take me you know over to that store so he kind of like rolled his eyes a little bit and um started driving or whatever and we were on our way home and he took their turn so i'm like yes he, he's gonna stop because <laughs> he was tired the kids you know they were kind of over it as well because i spent a bit of time in the other store even though i only ended up getting that one thing so anyway fast forward we go there walk into the store walk to the back i didn't even have my camera out or anything because i kind of really didn't expect anything and then these two things right here were right there on the front of the shelf basically a completely empty shelf I'll have inserted that so you'll see that clip of what it looks like. And these two are sitting there and I got so freaking excited. So, this is the first one. As you can see, it is a watering can. Yay! Yes, I'm excited about this. I wanted this. I've been wanting it for a while. I have, you know... I'm building my house plants up. I have a lot of house plants. I've gotten into it. And so when I saw that this was an option, I really wanted it. But I haven't been able to find one. Find one. I looked online. It was ridiculous. I was like, okay, I'll just have to wait and see if I find one. And lo and behold, here you have it. So it's a little story with this. I'm going to tell you guys real quick. But I want to show you her friend that was sitting right there next to her. It's the grow one. So they were just sitting right there on the shelf waiting for me. I was so excited. I couldn't decide which one I wanted. That's why I bought both. Um, then I thought maybe I could trade one for something. Because I saw a lot of people online saying how they trade things. But apparently it's like a big hassle. So I'm probably just going to, um, I am going to take one back. I've decided which one I want to keep. I want to keep the nourish one. Because I have other Ray Dunn plant items including planters and um things like that so i don't have anything that says nurse but i have a couple things that say grow so i'm just gonna keep this one and i really i don't need to but like i said i couldn't decide which one i wanted so they both came home so I'm gonna set those down they are kind of heavy to be perfectly honest um i was trying to like do a cute little video for my instagram earlier of like me pouring the water and i'm sitting there trying to pour with one hand and i have the phone and i'm like okay let me hurry and put this down because I don't want to <laughs> break my water and can trying to get a video. But it's a little on the heavy side. So the story with these really quick. So we get into the store. It's later, like I said, 7.30, 8-ish, whatever. So I see them. I immediately, I grab both of them because, like I said, I didn't know which one I wanted. So I grab both of them. And I look on the bottom. The Grow one was marked $16.99. And the Nourish one was marked $19.99. So I'm thinking, like, okay... Why are they they're exactly the same? So I'm looking at them closer. I'm like, maybe one's bigger. My husband's like, no, they're exactly the same. Of course, he's a big comedian. So he said, oh, well, that one has more letters. The Nourish one has more letters, so you got to pay more money. So we're laughing about that. And I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to take them both up there and see what they say. I mean, you know, worst case, I'm going to just buy the cheaper one. I'm not going to pay more. Whatever. Fast forward. I keep looking around. I found a couple other things, which I'll show you after I finish my little story. So... I get up to the front register, the guys at the register, and I say, you know, hey, these are exactly the same. Why are they different prices? He didn't know. He asked another cashier. She didn't know. So then they called the manager. The manager came up. He looked. He didn't know. And so he took out, um, you know, the little machine that prints out their stickers or whatever, the price tags. So he took that out. He's like, well, let's scan them and see what they say. The one that was marked $19.99, that actual barcode rang up for a birdhouse. It said birdhouse. And he's like, oh, this is the wrong tag. So then he scanned the other one and said watering can. He said, okay, excuse me, it is $16.99, which I knew because I was familiar with what the price of them was. So then in my mind, I'm like, oh, birdhouse sticker. I'm like, oh, so, you know, casually, like, do you have any birdhouses? He completely, like, face change, tone change, everything. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know anything about Ray Dunn. It's just some guy. And people have told me that he makes birdhouses or something. I don't know. So I'm like... 
um, okay. And the, um, the cashier was like, yeah, oh, it makes birdhouses. I'm like, oh, you, you know, you, you're not familiar with them or not. Actually, I didn't say that. He said to the, at this point, the manager and the cashier are talking and he's like, oh, He's like, yeah, I, I don't know anything about any birdhouses either. I've never seen any birdhouses in here, have you? This is the cashier talking to the manager. And they're like, oh, no, I've never seen any. I just kind of heard them. So I'm sitting there the whole time, literally, I'm standing in front of the register. They're behind the, the register right there. And I'm just looking back and forth at them like, okay, this is really weird. Number one, you're acting very awkward. Number two, the conversation like literally doesn't make any sense. And then third, you know how somebody talks too much about something when it's not necessary? That's when you know, like, okay you're making something up because all this extra conversation is, is not necessary. So anyways, I'm sitting there, you know, they get it all said and done. He wants to make me a new sticker. Totally fine by me. He's like, you know, I want to make sure they both say $16.99 in case something doesn't work out. You got to bring one back. I want to make sure it's marked properly. Cool. Perfect. So he prints it out and then, um, wrapped them up. I bought my other stuff and I left. So me and my husband are in the car and we get outside, my husband was like, yeah, that was weird. I said, right? I thought it was just me. I'm like, that didn't make any sense. So my husband, once again, a big jokester, he's like, yeah, um, he swapped out the ticket so he bought a birdhouse for himself. I was like, I feel like there would have had to be a birdhouse somewhere in proximity because how would a birdhouse just pop up? And in one of the Facebook groups I recently joined, I posted it up there just like as a funny story because everybody else, you know, posts their war stories or whatever. Um, in terms of Ray Dunn, like, it's not that serious to me, but I'm like, you know, it's kind of funny slash weird. I want to see what people say. So posted that. And then the responses were torn between, oh, you know, people change tags to get the price that they want on a, on a different item. But I'm like $16.99 compared to $19.99 to me, like $3 that all that has. So that's ridiculous to do. And then someone else was like, oh, they feel like it was like an inside job or whatever where they swapped out the tag. And then some, a couple other people said that um, people will return things and put like higher price tags on them to get that amount when they return it. I'm like, okay, I guess. But number one, as you know, if you have already done stuff like with the mugs, to get it off is like not a simple task. And this tag was not like, it didn't look tampered with like it was very much let me see is this still on there oh no duh i said he made me a new tag okay so it wasn't like torn or anything like that like it was on there if you get what i mean like so it definitely looked like the tag was printed and then placed onto the item so as i said this is an interesting story to tell in my opinion like something it was just like funny but in the group it was so weird like people went left and forth like somebody was saying like oh well he's probably started being hounded by people like you about birdhouses okay hold on i wasn't hounding anyone okay i'm at the register cashing out and when he said oh it's a birdhouse sticker of course i'm gonna ask oh well do you have birdhouses i said it just like that so that's not hounding number one and then other people were saying, like, oh, just let it go. Don't make a big deal. Which, as well, secondly, I did not make a big deal about it. I bought my stuff and I left. But, you know, I just found it really interesting that this whole Ray Dunn thing has gotten, like, that crazy. That it's, like, conspiracy theories and all, all of this stuff out there. So, I was just, like, I, I found it interesting, okay? And I still feel like, okay, how do you randomly have a birdhouse sticker on a watering can? And if somebody was able to get the sticker off at home, like, I wish you could have seen how pristine this sticker was on there like it wasn't ripped or like pulled you know how you start to pull a sticker off and it, it was none of that like it was a perfect sticker on there it was just a different price and that's what caught my attention like wait these are supposed to be $16.99 why is this $19.99 so anyway who knows I still haven't found a, um, a birdhouse in a store so anywho oh and another lady had told me that um she was surprised that he um altered the price for me because uh, she said that she's had issues where she's found items where she knows for sure is $3.99 or $2.99, whatever, respectively. And she says that the manager always says, well, that's how it comes in on the truck. We can't alter any prices. So she's ended up paying more for items that she knows don't cost that. So she feels like people swap stickers all the time. And I've worked in retail, so I know people do change tags. I actually worked for a store that was a part of, like, this 
umbrella company that owns TJ Maxx Home Goods and Marshalls. So I'm pretty familiar with their policies. But these are like stickers. Like these are not hang tags where you know people will like try to adjust and move those. Like these are stickers. So they rip. Like it's it's not anything special, fancy. So I don't know. She claims it happens all the time. I wasn't familiar. I said I would guess I'll look out for it now to make sure I'm paying the right price for stuff. I don't know all the retail prices, but I know I'm pretty familiar with the majority of them. So anyway, who knows? I can't believe people are even out there doing that. It's not that serious, but yeah. So anyhow, also in that same store, I found these. Now this is a cute little magnet set. It comes with six. You can see they say home, family, gather, grateful, blessed, all the usual stuff the Ray Dunn says. So I got these. I've seen these prior as well. I saw them like two or three other times. I kind of looked at them. I always put them back. Then I saw them again. It was the only one left. I'm like, okay, I keep seeing these for a reason, so let me get them. And I decided that I wanted the pens, and I had saw them previously, and I put them back. And I haven't seen them since, so I don't know. I got these here. Uh, I also collect magnets, so I figured out that gold is pretty cute to add to my little collection. And then, I think this is the last thing. Yep. Last but not least, as I mentioned, I am a plant mommy. <laughs> so I have all my plants. And when I saw this on someone else's channel, I said, oh my God, I have to have this. So I had, was so happy to find this. This is a plant mister. And I got the one that says sprout. And it has a little watering can on it. You can see that one right there. I was so happy to find this. And how I found this, um, we were all ready to go, you know, ready to leave out, what have you. And I was like, okay, let me do one last loop. So I looped around and it was an aisle that had already gone down. So that's why I always do one last loop. Because when I first get in there, you're so excited to look. I'm kind of like rushing past. And it was a, um, in a, tucked in a corner, it was about 10 of these. And I was so excited to get it. Now, I paid $4.99 on the person's video who I saw it on. She said she paid $9.99. I don't know if she was mistaken or if they're different prices, different places. I have no idea. But I was so excited to find this. Like I said, it's so cute. I actually have another one right here. As you can see, it's wet. I use it all the time. And in comparison, the Ray Dunn one is smaller. I paid $2 for this. I ended up getting it like 80%, 85% off at um, Joanne Fabrics on the sale. And so now I have two. But this one is super cute. I really like this. I think I'm going to display this and use this one for my smaller succulent plants. Put that back. But yeah, so that's everything that I got. This video is a little longer than expected, but I just wanted to share that story with y'all because that was my first experience with like the Ray Dunn craziness. I'm like, okay, people are like <laughs> being shady, I guess, and lying and stuff over Ray Dunn birdhouse. It's like, I don't know. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my finds. Once again, this baby right here, I was so, so excited to find. I've been wanting one of these for weeks, so I was super happy. And then when there were two, that was even better. But as I said, I'm going to take the other one back. I really don't need to. I thought about putting a plant in the other one, but I'm like, eh, I don't know. I think I am going to take the other one back and see if I find anything else. So... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my haul slash Ray Dunn hunting clip that I put in the beginning. Let me know in the comments below what kind of stuff have you um you all been finding recently. What are some items on your in search of list? I've fallen in love with the black collection as I discussed in my last video if you watched that. So I'm definitely hoping to find some more of those items. But um yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.